April 21, 2016, your 30th birthday party. Um, will you please tell the jury what happened that night with respect to, in particular, Mr. Depp? Um, he... <clears throat> Uh, at that time, we had a like a fitting that day or the day before, and he missed it, and he was kind of disappearing at that time, um, like at night, um, vaguely saying like meetings. He had meetings, but then he'd be gone for sometimes like two days, um, just not coming home and that sort of thing. Coming home after a bender, make calls for speculation worse. as to bender. I, 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 I don't think that calls for speculation. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. He's gone for two days. Go ahead. And I um, had my my birthday was coming up, and it was, I, or on my birthday, I said, well, you, you know, you gotta uh, make it to my my birthday party. We had a dinner planned at, at our penthouse. Uh, I said it would be important for me if you if you made it. Objection. Hearsay. Not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted. Thank you. And. He uh, told me at some point that day that he had scheduled a business meeting or a, a money meeting, I think he said, maybe, uh, at 7, uh, which is around the time my birthday was planned for. It might have been planned for 8 p.m. Um, he, uh, uh, of course, once my party was starting, he wasn't there. Um, text me at some point to let me know that he was going to make it, but that he was running late. Um, and that continued throughout my party. We finished dinner, and um, we were cleaning up, and kind of everyone was delaying leaving because we were waiting for to give him an opportunity to show up before it was before everyone left. Um, and he. Um, he let me. He let me know he was there. Um, you know, I, I I tried to, without saying what I said, I tried to give him the impression that I wasn't going to get on him about drinking or anything. I just wanted him to be there. And uh, we had uh, a toast. We uh, did a, a celebratory toast. Um, and the guests left. And uh, later that evening, um, we were in bed and. Um, I was, I had a book and Johnny, um, effectively said, what's, what's, what's your fucking problem now? And, uh, at the time we were getting advice from therapists without saying what they said, um, it was important for me not to make him feel attacked. Uh, so I chose my words carefully. I won't say what I said. But I, rem I remember being very careful about how I worded what I was feeling um, about my birthday and ha him having missed it. Uh, an argument um, followed that. Uh, I um, got up out of bed. Um, Johnny's side of the bed was closer to the door than mine. I, I remember him blocking the door, blocking me to get out, kind of shoving me down and we had a you know a verbal argument and then that became a shoving match I tried to shove him back um, I kind of felt myself retreat into the into the bedroom at some point he um, picked up a, a like a large I guess it's a magnum size not a normal size a large size a bottle of champagne and hurled it at me um, this time it went through a painting and I loved this painting. I remember it just went like right through the canvas, left a giant hole in it. And um, I remember thinking we shouldn't have art in our bedroom anymore. Um, and the, the fight, the argument, the fight continued into the salon area, which was outside of our bedroom at the top of the stairs. Johnny picked up my phone. I don't know why. Uh, I don't remember what he was saying when he did it, but he picked up my phone and threw it out of the open window of the salon area uh, out onto the street, out onto the downtown street that um, this window overlooked. Uh, in that moment, I, I, I went, oh, no, you don't. I saw his on the countertop and picked it up and threw his immediately, like two seconds later. Um, I didn't want to be stranded uh, this time 
alone, meaning I didn't want to be the only one stranded without a phone, which had happened to me already several times before this um, from Johnny. So I picked up his phone, threw it as well. Um, and I said that I wanted to go stay somewhere else for the evening. I left that room, went into the office. Um, we were still screaming names at each other and screaming at each other. And uh, I walk around the side of his desk, and um, the next thing I know, he has me by the hair, and he pulls me down, kind of, I hit the side of the desk. I remember things flying off of the side of the desk that, that I hit with, with my body. Um, I remember trying to fight him off of me. Um, at some point, uh, we're back in my, my main bedroom, and uh, it's my, I believe I was getting my toothbrush out of that bathroom. And uh, when I came out, we had another shoving match, but this one, he kind of like, I remember he chest bumped me in this like bro -y way, chest bumped me and fell to the floor. And when I got back up, he kind of held me down by the shoulders down on the side of the bed, kind of held me, um, wrestled me down on the bed. I remember I got up once or twice before I ended up on the bed and he grabbed me, um, did this thing that he did sometimes and he taught me, grabbed me by the, um, the pubic bone, pubic area. And just as best I can describe it is he kind of just pushed me down, held me down by it and kind of pulled me into it and um, was, Ask, he was asking me, kind of taunting me, asking me if I if I thought I was so fucking tough. You think you're such a fucking tough guy, huh? Are you so tough now? Look who's so tough. You want to be a man? Tough like a man now? That ha happened for a, a bit of time. I, I'm not quite sure. How, um, I think at some point he left. I remember at some point shortly... After that, I, I remember he was still in the apartment when this happened, but I remember kind of collapsing on the floor and being exhausted. It's just, I, I remember feeling exhausted and crying and kind of throwing in the towel, if you, if you will. I, I remember saying to him, just, can we not fight like this? Like, can we start over? Is there anything that we can do? Like, this is really messed up, but can we just not do this, please? Can we stop doing this? Just don't leave, it's my birthday, let's just, let's, let's just call it tr couch, let's just call it truce and not have it end like this. I don't wanna have it end like this. I was just so tired, hurt, and I remember crying and feeling ridiculous that after this I would be crying and saying these things. I'm embarrassed saying it now. Um, he responded uh, cruelly. He told me it's what I fucking deserve, and that I'd wake up every, I'd wake up alone, um, and that no one would ever love me because all of this pointing to my face or body, all of this was gonna go away. No one would ever love me. My tit sag, no one would ever love me, and I better get used to waking up alone. Um, and he said, this is all my fault and what I deserve, what I asked for. And he left. I heard him come back in, uh, the downstairs, you know, you can hear the door slam. I remember hearing it open and thinking, oh God, is this going to happen again? What's going on now? Um, and, and, and then shortly after I kind of peeked around to the top of the stairs where you can kind of peer into the lower level. And I, uh, I just see him briefly, momentarily, and he just screams at me, happy fucking birthday, and stormed out. Uh, at some point, I walked downstairs and uh, saw that he had also uh, left me a note to that effect. How did he leave a note for you? I, I was written on a piece of paper, as best I can recall, but I'm not sure. And... So then, the next day, what did you do? Um, I texted, actually, I texted, well, I can't say what I texted. Um, I woke up this uh, that morning, the morning of my 30th birthday, 
and um, I woke up to my best friend crawling in bed with me um, and putting her arms around me. And uh, I remember wondering how she got, how she walked in um, because there was a lead glass on the floor. There's lots of glass. And um, she put her arms around me and showed me a birthday video that all of my friends, my childhood friends, all of my loved ones made. Of course, stupidly, the first thing I asked her is why Johnny wasn't in the video, because it had been recorded before. It had been recorded sometime before it was clear. Uh, and she said um, that she'd been asking for a few months and Johnny- Objection, just, Your Honor, hearsay. Uh, I offered to prove the truth. Yeah, all right, I'll overrule, go ahead. Um, and so I, um, I, 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 we eventually we got out of my bed and um, grabbed a few things and uh, got the bat, got the dogs, um, left for for um, our plans, which our plans had been to go to Coachella, which is a music festival that happens in California. Um, and that had been the plan for a while, that that's how we would go and celebrate my birthday. And I'm, I remember, you know, um, as I am accustomed to doing, just trying to move through it, move on, and remember in vain trying to put on a brave face and have a good time, even though it was impossible. Let, let me stop you for a few things. What, if any, plans were there for Mr. Depp to join you at Coachella? Uh, he w was um, supposed to drive down, have dinner, um, stay in, in the room, maybe do some writing or something like that in the room. It, at Coachella? At Coachella, where we were. Coachella um, happens in a different part of California than we lived in. We lived in Los Angeles, and this happens about two hours, two to three hours away. Um, so I'd finally gotten my car back, and... Um, and I drove with my um, best friends in, in, the, in the car. And I'm gonna stop you again because I just have a couple more questions before we go into that part. Uh, you said you brought the dogs. Who were the dogs you brought? Uh, Johnny's dog uh, at, at the time, Boo. Uh, my dog, Pistol, we shared them. Uh, they're teacup Yorkies and I believe uh, Raquel, my best friend's dog, which is a mutt. Okay, what if any issues did Boo have with uh, bathroom problems, if you will. Objection leading and relevance. Overruled, I love it. Um, she had eaten uh, Johnny's weed when she was a puppy and had uh, bowel control issues for her entire life, among some other issues. She was, you know, we re regularly had to take her to the vet to try to figure out, well, what was wrong with this dog? Um, never met a dog that was quite like this. Um, so she had some control issues, hence uh, why we would, she liked to burrow in the bed. She liked to be in the, you know, by the f foot of the bed underneath the covers. And it was um, customary that they slept in bed with us, but Boo, having the issues she had, we have to leave her in bed so that she wouldn't be encouraged to, to, to go to the bathroom, um, which would happen almost immediately once you put her down on the floor. And sometimes it happened in bed too. But, um, but yeah. So what, if anything, did you notice uh, about any bathroom issues in your bed before you left for Coachella? Well, but Raquel and I were both in, in that bed um, with the dogs and I didn't notice anything, but we left them in the bed while we packed a bag to go to Coachella, you know, so that they didn't, so that Boo particularly didn't lose control of her about, or, you know, didn't go to the bathroom on the floor. So you leave them in bed until you're ready to take them outside to the patio, which is their designated bathroom break area. Okay. And what if any plans were there? How often did you have housekeeping at that time at your house? Um, the housekeepers were there every morning. Okay. Or they came every day, as far as I know. Okay. Now, We'll, we'll get you to Coachella, but why did you tell Starling Jenkins that you had been involved in a prank gone wrong? Objection, hearsay leading. I said why, Your Honor. I didn't say what she said. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Um, did you commit any kind of prank? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. And 
And why would that not be something you would do? First of all, I don't think that's funny. I don't know what a grown woman does. I, I, I was not also in a pranking mood. I had my life was falling apart. I was um, at a crossroads in my life that was really serious, and I had just been attacked on my 30th birthday by my violent husband with whom I was desperately in love and knew I needed to leave. It was uh, not really a jovial time, and I don't think that's funny, period. That's disgusting. And what, if any, uh, understanding did you have of Mr. Depp coming back to your bedroom that night or the next morning? Objection calls for speculation. I, I'm asking what her understanding was. No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Did you, had you had any conversations with Mr. Depp about him coming back to the house the next day? No, Donnie didn't come back to that house. That was my, that was my, you know, he owned it, but that was my house when, when we were having any sort of problem. In fact, that was my house just 90% of the time because he just didn't come back. That was not a place that Johnny was going to be in, that Johnny was in, and he had stormed out on my birthday, and as per what we did, it was he would go and stay at his West Hollywood home, and I would stay at the downtown places. He wasn't going to come back to the Objection Eastern calls for speculation. I, I, I think she explained her answer on that okay. one. What I'll she sustain just the last part. Okay. okay, next question. Thank you. All right, so let's take you to Coachella. Um, who drove? I drove. Okay. And who was in your vehicle? My sister, my friend Savannah, I believe, my best friend Raquel, just my, my girlfriends. I, I typically surround myself with my girlfriends. It's my sport. Was there any occasion in which you were riding in the vehicle that Starling Jenkins was driving? He picked us up from Coachella in the evening when we, as a group, all were ready to leave. Um, that was the um, the day that we went, which was a um, which was the day that I took MBMA and mushrooms at the same time. So realized very shortly after what a horrible idea that was, considering the state that my life was in. I highly don't recommend that combination at the time. So I didn't feel like being in a crowd. I didn't feel like being at Coachella. I had intended to try to have a good time, despite what was going on in my personal life and I realized that that was just not going to happen and so I wanted to go home I wanted meaning to be in a bed I wanted to be you know I just wanted to be held by my best friend and watch a movie and that's what we did I didn't feel well and wanted to leave okay and when you said you rode back with Starling Jenkins was it just you or did you have other people in the vehicle with you and when we left Coachella, it was my entire group. I wasn't ever alone with Starling. I certainly wasn't anywhere near him. I didn't have a conversation with him. I sat in the very back seat with my best friend next to me, and it was a whole group of us. Thank you. Um, you're under this, I, I don't okay. know, which, this might be a good breaking point. All right, that's fine. Okay, ladies, let's go ahead and take our morning uh, recess. Do not discuss the case with anybody, and don't do any outside research. We'll take 15 minutes, okay? okay. Let's come back then at 10.50. Is that okay? All right, 10.50. Thank you. All right, thank you.